Hey YouTube, so today I wanted to talk about my least favourite referee in the history of boxing. I wanted to talk about Howard Foster. So I've, I've always known Howard Foster to be extremely corrupt, especially when it comes to Carl Froch. So I wanted to look at a few examples of his blatant corruption. So the first clip I wanted to show you is his extremely premature stoppage of Ruben Grunewald. So this was on when Froch was on the way up. Um, I think it was back in 2005 this fight was, so it was a long time ago. Um, so Ruben Grunewald, um, he, he was on the ropes taking punches um, and Foster jumped in prematurely. Before Howard Foster stepped in, Grunewald was actually loading up a left hook. He was going to throw a left hook and Howard Foster stepped in um, inexplicably. And Ruben Grunewald has actually made a video on this and I'll, I'll link it in the description below. But basically what he was saying was it was a fix. And um, some a man came into his hotel room saying the fight will be stopped in round five. And th the whole setup with Mick Hennessy back in the day was extremely corrupt. Like Froch's career, Froch was a good fighter, no doubt, but his, his legacy gets overshadowed by just how corrupt his career actually was. So I do, I do believe it. Like, um, match fixing in UK boxing is rife sometimes. I remember David Hay, uh, against Audley Harrison, that was fixed to the third round. David Hay carried Audley Harrison for the first, first two rounds. You know, Audley Harrison, the guy who got stopped in one round by David Price. David Hay carried him. So I definitely believe that that fight, that what Ruben, Ruben Grunewald was saying about that fight being fixed on the fifth round. So moving on to the next clip, this is Howard Foster's most infamous moment. This is... Um, Carl Froch versus George Groves won. So, um, up to the ninth round, Groves was controlling the fight. He was winning the majority of the rounds. Scored cards were a lot closer than they were, of course, because this was in Nottingham. But, um, yeah, he was controlling the fight. Outboxing Froch. He dropped Froch in the first round. And Froch was coming on strong a bit. He... He was coming on strong, you know, he, he always had a good stamina, Froch, so he was, yeah, he was coming on strong. So, Groves was on the ropes, taking punches, um, and just and he was about to escape the ropes, and Howard Foster jumped in, inexplicably again, prematurely. And, yeah, Gro obviously Groves was incensed by this, because it was, it was an extremely premature stoppage, he, he was just about to get off the ropes. So, after this fight, um, it came to light that Howard Foster had liked a, fa a comment on his Facebook page saying, uh, I predict Groves, I'm um, sorry, Froch in round nine. So, in every one of these stoppages, there is some, you know, there is some evidence that there could be a fix in this. Well, Groves Froch one was definitely a fix. That, Groves was on his way to winning that fight easily. So, um, Howard Foster is also a judge. He's been judging for a while and, well, some of his scorecards have been ridiculous over the years. The most prominent one I can remember is probably the Usyk Joshua fight. He gave that 115-113 to Usyk, 7-5, in the fight where Usyk pretty much won 11 rounds. So, Howard Fo I wouldn't say Howard Foster is as corrupt as someone like Lawrence Cole, for example, but he's, he's definitely the most corrupt referee in UK boxing. And obviously he was Froch's personal bodyguard for, for many years. Froch himself was actually investigated for match fixing when, uh, after the David Hay, Audley Harrison fight, Froch said he'd bet on himself in one of his fights. So he was investigated by the British Boxing Board of Corruption for 
well for match fixing so i just i just thought i'd give a few thoughts on this i've i've always hated to see howard foster as the referee um i i always sometimes my prediction actually changes to who i win because who i think will win because howard foster is the ref um if if it's if it's a non-UK based fighter versus, you know, a big name UK fighter, um, that fighter should avoid the ropes at all costs because Howard Foster will step in very prematurely to make sure the UK fighter wins. So I just thought I'd give my thoughts on this. Thanks for watching and uh, leave your comments below.